Hey guys, so today I wanted to just get on here and show you my new chinchilla cage. Now this is a three story, three door cage, it's pretty massive. And first things first, I got this for £45. I went into an RSPCA charity shop, they had it, I was like, that's what I want. Now initially I did want one of those where both of the doors open, but honestly, I wasn't overly picky and the money goes to helping animals, so <laughs> it's a win-win. Um, I believe on Amazon this is over a hundred pounds and also this one comes with plastic like ledges and I don't want that because you want to eliminate all the plastic you can in a chinchilla cage so we replace them with wood so let's start at the bottom and work up also just to say uh, Ruby hasn't actually moved in yet we want to make sure everything's perfect beforehand and I want to do a tour where nothing had really been peed or pooed on we have let her go along in here and she has done a few droppings that tray will be cleaned out but one thing I did want to say that I want to change is the bottom I want to put like a grid on here rather than this if you know chinchilla's back feet they're long they could drop down here and it, all it takes is for the chinchilla to freak out and turn around and break its ankle. So I'm not confident in her being on this kind of grid. So we will be changing that before she actually moves in. So right at the bottom we have this hammock that I made. And it's made out of old black jeans, some fleece. And inside is that material that if, it, if they pee on it for some reason it will absorb it. It doesn't just stay there. But one thing I will say about Ruby that's really good is she always goes to the bottom to pee. Anyway. So the first shelf is this one, and all of these were bought from b and I literally got two 118 centimetre shelves, I think they were, uh, they were £9 each, and the two filled out this entire cage, and I have to thank Joanne on Instagram for telling me about that, it's really been cost effective. So we have this big shelf here, now this slanted one, this was mainly because Sorry, this rattles a bit. Um, she can obviously jump here, but if she wanted another option, that was there. Um, she has been up and down this. What we've done is we put her in here to check all the shelves are, and the spacing is all correct, and she gets around this perfectly. And there's another big wide shelf here. I also got this toy. So this I got from Jolly's. I don't know if that's just an English pet shop. It's I swear it's a fairly new one. I don't know. I've only recently seen them. It was $4.99. It's absolutely massive. And yeah, it just goes across there. Then we have this corner hammock, which I also made. Same materials as before. Uh, really easy to make. If I can find the tutorial that I use, I'll link it below. But that goes in that corner. It's nice and deep as well. So she really likes it. Then we have a little staircase, so we go one platform there, one platform there, and it actually goes up to an even higher one, or she can go over there. So right in the middle she has this toy, once again this was from Jolly's, and it's heavy, it's massive, there's like a little bridge bit here, there's two coconuts, these go, these run the entire span nearly of the cage, and it was $12.99, which I think is actually really good for what you get. So that's there, and we have a shelf in this corner, another hide, that, uh, another hammock that I made, different material, and an entire shelf here, and a corner shelf there, and a tunnel here, which I made the tunnel. She can technically get in there, but she likes to go over the top. So I of course need to add in the food dish, the uh, her water bottle, she has lava ledges and toys and tunnels. Um, but for now, for this tour, I did want to dish off the new stuff because if I put in a half chewed lava ledge it might look a bit odd amongst everything else. And of course it's still in her previous cage and didn't want to take that away from her. So this is kind of like all the new stuff. And actually, like with all the wood, the toys... The hammocks were kind of th like free because I just used old materials, you know, recycled them. I think this all came to under a hundred pounds, so the entire cage and everything. So I'm really happy with that. Um, if you are in the UK, being Q for shelves and Wilkinsons, you can do like um, oh I think they're called Wilco now. You can get like a small bag of findings for two pound fifty. It's like a pick and mix. It's amazing. So. This is kind of what it looks like for now. Um, as I said, I'm gonna add in more things. We put her in here to see if she can jump on everything. She loves everything. If we find there's something she's not using or difficulty around, we will of course change that. But yeah, I can't wait for her to move in. Basically, she turned 11 years old and I really wanted to get her a new cage. Equally, 
she ended up having a tooth issue. So she started drooling a little bit. So under her chin, it looks a bit manky, but that's partly because she's on critter care. So um, there's a bit of food there, but don't worry about that. So basically what happened is her back teeth had spurs on them. And I think this is mainly because she just doesn't eat hay. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm offering her all the different types and maybe now they've been trimmed down, she will eat it. Um, but it was basically, they were trimmed down. She's also got a couple ulcers. Um, so it's not great, but she loves her crit care. She's wafting that down. She is starting to eat her pellets again. And once she's had the big okay from the vets and everything sorted here, we will officially move her in. So I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little cage tour. Um, obviously if you have any tips or any like suggestions, you think something would be really cool in here, let me know. And um, as I said, there are still things to move in like lava ledges and other toys. But yeah, so uh, thanks for watching guys and goodbye.